In the 18th century the world was a place of rapid change and discovery. The Age of Enlightenment was in full swing, with philosophers, scientists and thinkers challenging old beliefs and striving for knowledge and understanding. This was a time when humanity began to look at the world with new eyes, and one man, in particular, would forever change the way we perceive and categorize the natural world around us. His name was Carl Linnaeus. Born in the rural heartland of Sweden in 1707, Carl Linnaeus had a fascination with the natural world from an early age. Encouraged by his father, a church minister and avid gardener, Linnaeus spent his childhood exploring the diverse flora and fauna of his surroundings. This early exposure to nature would set the course for the rest of his life. In 1727, at the tender age of 20, Linnaeus enrolled at Lund University to study medicine. But his passion for botany quickly took center stage, and he transferred to Uppsala University a year later. There, he made a profound impact, so much so, that he was appointed as a lecturer while still a student. His innovative teaching methods and passion for botany quickly attracted a following. Linnaeus's major breakthrough came in 1735 with the publication of his work, Systema Naturae. In this seminal work, he proposed a new system for classifying living organisms, based on shared physical characteristics. This was a radical departure from the prevailing method of classification based on an organism's habitat or behavior. Linnaeus's system, which we refer to today as Linnaean taxonomy, is the basis for the modern system of binomial nomenclature. In 1758, Linnaeus published the 10th edition of Systema Naturae, considered the starting point of zoological nomenclature. This work included every known animal and plant species at the time, all neatly classified and named according to his system. This was an incredible feat, demonstrating not just his keen observational skills, but also his ability to synthesize vast amounts of information. But Linnaeus's contributions to science were not limited to taxonomy. He also made significant advancements in ecology, describing the relationships between organisms and their environment. In addition, he was a pioneer in the field of ethnography, studying and documenting human cultures. When Linnaeus passed away in 1778, he left behind a legacy that continues to shape our understanding of the natural world. His system of classification gave us a universal language to describe and understand the diversity of life on Earth. It's an integral part of biology, used by scientists around the globe. In summary, Carl Linnaeus was a man ahead of his time a visionary who saw the world through a lens of curiosity and wonder. His contributions to biology, from taxonomy to ecology, have been instrumental in shaping our understanding of the world around us. His legacy is a testament to the power of observation, curiosity, and the relentless pursuit of knowledge. So, the next time you marvel at the diversity of life on Earth, spare a thought for Carl Linnaeus, the man who gave us the tools to understand it.